about playing along the O-line. Crushing the other guy. When everything in him is just defeated and you're driving him into the ground. <laughs> Being relentless, and that's kind of the way I like to play. To test how Nate Solder takes on defenders, we'll have him attempt to stop this 300-pound heavy bag as it comes swinging straight at him. Three, two, one, go! Nice, nice, get it. Boom! Nice! Solder shuts the bag down cold, absorbing over 2,700 pounds of force without giving an inch. That's comparable to stopping a blitzing Brian Erlacher dead in his tracks. Since an O-lineman has to be mobile in order to execute the NFL's sophisticated blocking schemes, we've created a pulling test. You're going to pull down the line and just slam right into our dummy. I can do that. You can do that. <laughs> I can do that. Three, two, one. breaks the light trigger in only eight tenths of a second, changes direction, and covers five yards in barely over one second. He drives the dummy up and into the ground with almost 2,800 pounds of force. As strong as hits we've measured by Dwight Freeney. Nate Solder is one of the biggest and most impressive athletes we've ever tested. We measured his vertical leap at 32 inches. That's four inches higher than the average vert in the NBA. And yet, at 319 pounds, Solder outweighs every player in that league except Shaq. It ain't over till the fat lady sings. Out of trouble, they've got 94 yards to go. They run it to Rodney Stewart, and Stewart gives him a... They're going deep. Tony Clemens was there only the first quarter, and they already have suffered four penalties. Hanson over the middle, and it for the day. Oklahoma and Florida State, others Miami and Ohio State, and of course Penn State and Alabama. Once again, will they go for Scotty McKnight? Hanson in trouble again, fumbles the football, and Cal has it. He watched the left side of the line, just couldn't quite get there. Out there lighting up the NFL right now. Hanson back, blitz on, flags all over the place, intercepted by Cal, and here come the Golden Bears trying to get in great. Pick. This is tough. Pressure coming off the outside. They have a matchup that they like. Putting a linebacker out there against Solder or capturing that edge. Jared Price again with the big hit last time. Same exact look. Beat Solder to the outside. The Pac-10 is a very talented conference this year. They just have not standing quarterbacks in college football. Right now we've got Hanson on a third and ten, swinging it right, completing it for the first down. A big play, the biggest of the day for Clemens. Up the middle, Stewart. That's a first... Hanson with time, dumps it off to his fullback and driving towards the pressure from the right side and the blitz. Hanson is spun down at the 25. Holder. See Kendrick getting upfield and coming underneath. We talked about this during a break. They beat him up. These numbers aren't his fault.
being hit, the offensive line needs to give him a little support. They have two tight ends in. Richardson goes motion. They give the football to Stewart. And whether you've got to be able to run because the bad weather in November. Here goes Hansen off to the races. He'll get another first down inside the 10 yard. Genetics for running. His dad, former college football player at San Diego State. His mom was an All American sprinter. First and goal. Stewart. Now he goes motion. Hansen tries to scramble, escapes, and will score the touchdown. Third and ones in his career, so he'll get the carry, and he does muscle. Carter, who was filling in for James last week up in Oregon as well. But this is an offensively explosive league this year. Yep. The touchdown output is just amazing. It's getting back for Pac-10 as a quarterback's conference. Beginning his third start this season after taking the red shirt off him weeks ago down in Austin against Texas. As the ability to get out of the pocket, dumps it off, and complete, and spinning forward is Barron. And they hand it off here. Stewart got the first down. Bobbled the ball, Hanson did. Tries to recover. Here comes Mizzou. Hanson escapes again and just throws it away. Colorado trailing 7-0. First possession. Hanson, good protection. You've got to do play well on first and second down and get him man in the third down situation. Hanson fumbles the football. Missouri's recovered inside. Second down. And again, just trying to get a little breathing room. First and ten. Hands it off. Stewart played a little bit in the two-minute drill last weekend against Kansas State. Did not play here in the Kansas win. Same screen in a system, so. A bit of a change with Tyler Hansen under quarterback. They want to get him an option as well. Back there off it. Completion right here. One TD and one pick. Play action here. Oh, and now they bring it around. Andre Simmons is the tackle. Andre Simmons, one reception on the year. That was in the season opener against Colorado State. He gets the carry. He just plays just like that. Having to place it perfectly. He just about got it there. Hanson in trouble here, and he is sacked back 38 yards on the kickoff return, and it's first and 10 for CU at the 42. And it's complete on the first down. And it's down. He's fishing up, and he's throwing the football. Another open man, it's gear. Bulls they come in here today, two and five, one and two in conference play. Third and six for Hanson. McKnight. And it is first and goal from the three-yard line. On the ground. Right in. A moment ago to start the second half. A whole different story. Four or five. In trouble here. And he's brought down. Michael's a freshman out of Raytown, Missouri. Well, you watch on the left side. He beats a pretty good tackle in Nate Solder. Third down at 18 now. Boom. And again. Mizzou fumble. 78 yards for a TD. Hanson. A little more protection here. Got a man wide open. 45 and McKnight. They were down 33 zip. It's 33 17. First to 10 from the 43. Hanson got a man. McKnight. Got a defensive back. First to 10 here. Hanson in trouble again. Buy some more time. Look at oh. oh. Got to come up with some more big plays. <laughs> down two scores. 6.02 to go. Can look at the ball down the field. 31 on the day, but just two of eight. Of those last eight tosses. And McKnight here. And just not the type of offense that can score very quickly. Oh, he's quick. See that slap uppercut? No. Oh. Hansen drops this one off to Sumler. And Sumler. Play from scrimmage. One second. Just did get it off, apparently. Will jump. Hawkins hands off Stewart right Stewart takes it on second down 49 on the last Colorado win that was over Georgia Hawkins to the air income to 12 more but yeah. his teams are prepared and they're talented but they use that talent to their advantage if they want to play they've got two true freshmen they want to burn their you the Bucks down for two people. By Game three of the World Series down the road at Arlington tonight. Cody's 